How the hell did you end up here? Have you ever thought about that? Because chances are, if you're watching a video like this, your life is at a point where you feel behind. You feel like you should have been much further than you are right now. And you feel like time for some reason for you is so short that that gap is not even large enough for you to reinvent yourself once again. But in reality, that's probably a load of crap. And in this video, I'm going to share seven reasons why it's not too late to change your life. What's up guys, it's Alex Hein, and a lot of this will be coming from my book, Milk the Pigeon. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Let's get in here. Now, reason number one is that the average life expectancy in the United States is about 78 or 79. Now I know you watching this, you're probably not older than 50, not older than 40, and maybe not even older than 30. So to think that you could be 30 watching this and your life has basically another 50 years to go, even if you don't even eat that well, even if you don't exercise that much, you're probably still gonna make it to 80, you may be on a bunch of medications, but you'll be alive. I mean, let me share just how much can change in 10 years. 10 years ago, I had no books, now I have multiple. 10 years ago, I had no YouTube channel, now I have a couple of them that have more than half a million subscribers. 10 years ago, I had no doctorate. Now I have a doctorate in traditional Chinese medicine and I have a private medical practice in Los Angeles. 10 years ago, I looked like a little stick twig and now I'm in pretty good shape. In reality, 10 years sounds like a very, very, very long time. And in some ways it is, particularly if you're not enjoying your day-to-day -day life. But your life can change so much in 10 years that when you realize how much it changes when you're driven and you see 50, you really begin to think, man, what I could do in 50 years. Reason number two, you probably have not even tried. Like, let's be real. You're probably feeling like it's too late to change your life. But if I'm being candid here, I coached hundreds of people, particularly those in their 20s and 30s, figuring out their life path. Mostly what I saw was that we are largely delusional about the effort that we are taking on a daily basis, like the level of congruent action towards our goals. So. When I was first building out this channel, for example, my explicit goal was I did not want to have a day job. If I had to do this 40 hours a week, it'd be a lot of work, but at least I wouldn't have a boss and I'd have freedom. Now, I worked nine to five, went to the gym, and then I came home and I went to a cafe for three hours from seven until 10 p.m. And I did that every single day for three years and three months before I could quit my job. It was a long time. And yet I know most people are not going to make that sacrifice. Most people are not going to come home from their nine to five, decide not to watch Netflix for a year and see how much progress they can make towards their top three goals. And it's never too late because you probably honestly haven't even tried. So imagine if you gave it a real shot for let's say a year. The third reason it's never too late is that life can actually change pretty quickly. I mean, this is true for the good things and the bad things, right? I've heard from people that when one of their close friends or family members died, their life detonated. And I've also heard from people that they got that amazing job or they moved to that new city or they fell in love and married that person and their life skyrocketed positively very quickly. I mean, it only could be a year before you find the person that you ultimately fall in love with and marry that you just saw in a coffee shop. It can be two years to go back to school and get your MBA or get postgraduate training and get a 20 or $30,000 raise and now you have a lot of extra overflow cash. It can be a couple of years to end up building a side hustle that becomes your full-time job like this. So in reality, life can honestly change pretty quickly. Now, reason number four, why it's never too late to change. You may think, well, oh, I'm following someone online or I've seen this athlete or this interview or this success story with some famous person and they tell you about how they've been building this for 10 years. And while it is common to hear that people before they really blow up have been working at something daily for 10 years. That is a common number you hear. In reality, 10 years is not that long. I'll never forget reading this book on personal finance. And the author said, I want you to calculate how much money you've made in your entire life. Every job you've ever had, every salary you've ever earned, every side hustle freelance gig you've ever done. And then I want you to calculate how much money that was and how much money you have in the bank today. Now that was very sobering because for me, all the little menial jobs I've worked, I think I made like 250,000 from like 16 until 25, very low. What was crazy was I had a thousand dollars in my savings account. And he said, if you haven't been able to save at least 10% of all that money you've ever earned in your life, why do you think that earning more money is gonna solve any of your problems? That was mind blowing to me. And it went to show that those 10 years had elapsed anyway. But because of my poor habits that weren't aligned with the life I wanted, in this case, saving, there's no future that's going to change that. There's no amount of increased money that's going to change that. And so there was a big schism or a rift between my daily habits and the goals I wanted. That's why I wrote my first book, Master Today. It's about that entire concept, the gap. 
between where you are and where you want to be. Reason number five, it only takes an hour a day to change your life. This is a favorite story of mine about the personal development teacher, Earl Nightingale in the 1950s. And he said that, this person was passing a bunch of steel workers during the Great Depression. And these guys were all complaining about the lack of jobs, the lack of opportunities, all these things they could possibly do. And this guy went home and he was thinking, you know, these men, if they dedicated even an hour a day over the last decade towards another craft or skill set, they would have something else that could become a career on its own. And he said, they could literally become open heart surgeons if they dedicated an hour a day to learning new skills as opposed to just complaining on their lunch break or just drinking at 5 p.m. at the local tavern. And so in reality, you can dedicate an hour a day to writing your book. There are stories of famous authors that wrote their book every morning on the way from Grand Central Terminal, you know, in New York City, taking the train into New York for their day job. There are plenty of stories of that. There are entrepreneurs like me who came home after work and worked three hours in their business every day for three years and three months to build their business. But you'd be shocked how much of your life can change in an hour a day. Reason six, it's never too late, is that the time's gonna pass anyway. So how are you spending your time right now? Is it that you come home from work, you're tired, it's 6 p.m., you never really sleep enough because you just wanna stay up late watching shows because you're grumpy about going to work. So now it's 6 p.m. and you're tired. You haven't exercised, you haven't eaten, and typically your ritual is you're gonna eat and you're gonna flip through your phone while having something playing in the background. It's a common human experience these days. But in reality, one week and one day and one hour, they will all pass no matter what. You have a terminal illness, it's called birth, is a line from Tuesdays with Maury. So you are always inching towards that finish line, which for us is death. And the years will pass anyway. Why not push yourself just a little bit to move more in alignment with the life you actually want, as opposed to whining and complaining and being depressed about the fact that I'm not where I want to be. And reason number seven, you're not a fucking slug, all right? If you were born in the 1500s to the peasant class, where there's no upward mobility, no internet, no opportunity to escape your class at all, the fact that you can sit down and you can, for example, download the free journaling worksheet I've put at the bottom of this video. That's a free download. You can download that, fill that thing out, and that will give you some clarity on how to figure out what you want and how to figure out your life path going forward. That didn't exist 500 years ago. It didn't exist 50 years ago. It didn't exist 15 years ago. I was 13 before the internet even came out. So for those of you watching this that were born into the internet, you can learn anything. The only barrier today is the lack of hunger to want to improve yourself and to take those actions. The fact that you were reincarnated as a friggin' human being means you have the number one thing that every creature on planet Earth wants, which is autonomy. You have the freedom to change, unless you're some kind of prisoner or a peasant in the 1500s. You can change, and because you can, you should. Now that's a privilege, right? That's a gift you've been given, and that is not something that everybody has all over the world. So don't take that for granted. Now, I've also begun creating something brand new called the Monk's Courtyard. This is a really fun new portal I'm creating of online courses on how to improve and design your dream life. Now, one of them is the journaling course, which is called the Strategy Pages Journaling Program, all about a very specific kind of journaling exercise I've used, basically to get where I am today. So if you guys want, that's a course, the link is right below the video. You can always check it out and see if it resonates. Check those out, and before you go, I have another related video on reinventing your life here.